Okay, well, there's nobody in chat yet, but we'll be getting started in just a moment here. I think I've got most of the major problems worked out. Um, looks like my mic audio might be a little bit hot for the stream, so I'm going to try and turn that a little down a little. Test, test, test. That sounds like it should be more big area of where it should be. Try testing. Okay. Well, that was a little high. Alright, that should be about good, I think. joining me if you're coming or watching this on the VOD. Um, we're going to be playing today Disgaea Hour of Darkness and the Switch remake version. And I'm very excited to share this game with everybody. This is one of my all-time favorite games that I was super excited about when it first came out back on the PlayStation 2. Still just doing a few last second setup things here, and we'll get started in just a second. I think I have everything pretty easily accessible now, and should be just about ready to go. There's a little bit of lag in my controller there for a second. Seems to be mostly better now.
King Hridrefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, a big fan of the comedy in this game especially as well as the rest of the series but this one more so well if that's the case there's only one thing left to do and this came out at a time when this kind of comedy was basically unseen and unheard of in games especially in this genre pretty much all of the tactical games that i'd seen at least up until this point were very heavily serious in their tone. What fool dares awaken me, the great Lahar? Oh, Prince! I'm glad you're still alive. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Sorry, just a second. I thought I had got myself some water, but it looks like I forgot it. And I think I'm going to be needing that before this stream is done. So this will give me an opportunity to test out this! Aha! Okay, we're back. Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. I see I had a viewer join. I wonder how I can actually see my viewers in chat. I would have thought it would see who joins in the chat. Welcome to the stream! Good to have you! Oh. Uh oh, what happened? I've sank! Experiencing minor technical difficulties, just a moment. trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, yeah! Big news! Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died! In what? When? Two years ago. Wait a second! 
So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. Yup? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. Aha! It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> <laughs> Bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. Etna has joined your party. Right, we are finally in control. Theoretically. Um, the game decides to actually listen to my inputs. It kind of almost feels like the controller keeps going to sleep or something. Okay, Let's see if I can remember the. Okay. I don't remember if Disgaea 1 actually had a jump. It's been a while since I played it. I don't think it did. I think that came in in the later Disgaea games. So I don't think I can actually jump around in here. But I can still get up on stuff just by kind of walking at it. For those who don't know, the Japanese have kind of an obsession with drills. All the implements of destruction that were used in trying to wake me up. Uh, now I remember there's a secret back here. And then there's another one that you have to press somewhere else too. I think it was one of these lamp posts or something like that. Oh, it might even have been in a different room. I only planned for napping for about 10 days. Hmm, something's not right. <clears throat> oh well, looks like I wasted my time digging that grave for you. I'll put you in that grave instead! All the royal vassals left the castle shortly after the king died. Even with me still around? Well, they were sleeping. They must have forgotten about you. Um, if anyone's wondering why I keep running at the walls and stuff, it's because my controller's just not really quite responding. Okay, so... Apparently, if I put it down in my lap, it stops working. <laughs> Big shop. I don't think that was in the original. Interesting. I longing to sum up your service. I don't actually need all this help. I'm I think I pretty much remember all of the weapons and everything, for the most part. If I need to refer back to it later, I will. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse! My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. 
why don't you warm up on the tutorial map? Go see the Dimensional Gatekeeper and she'll send you there. In order to prevent intruders, I have closed all the gates. Please talk to the Dimensional Gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. Oriel. Items can be purchased at the Rosen Queen Company Netherworld branch. So, I'm not actually sure which came first, but the Rosen Queen Company is a real shop that you can actually visit in Japan that sells Nippon Ichi software stuff. Um, and it seems to be something that goes cross-game. I've seen it in other titles of theirs, including some that, uh, as far as I know, predate Disgaea as well. Each character can equip up to four items. A character can equip one weapon, three other items, such as armor. Monsters can only equip weapons from the monster-only weapons category. It is best to equip a weapon that suits a character's inherent strengths. Um, oh! I think the other secret place was... this. Yeah! So... For anyone wondering, what that does... Is... Ha! Okay? If you inspect the third secret location, now you can go into Etna's secret little area where she hides her journal, and you can see information that she's written down. This is my secret chamber. Only I know how to get in here. This is where my most precious memories are, were locked away. That I remember, but I can't remember what they were. When I try to remember, my heart aches. This pain is proof of how dear those memories are to me. I have to get them back. And as you go through the story, more journal entries get unlocked. I kind of think these icons over their heads were actually added for the remake. I don't know that they were in the original games, or if they were, I don't know that there were as many of them or that the icons were the same. I don't feel like they were necessarily all there in the original Disgaea. Tutorial for beginners. There are many features in this game, like the Dark Assembly and the item world. Ask the appropriate people for more info. Don't worry, you can still beat the game with minimal knowledge. Um, it should also be noted that although the main quest line only takes you to around level 70 to 99. Uh, this game was kind of unique for being one of the first RPGs that had a really, really high level cap at the time of 9,999. And it was kind of intended that you would do a whole bunch of replays because the, well, not just replays, but grinding in the post-game, because there were secret extra endings, and one of them uh, had a boss that was in the, like, level 8,000 range. I don't even remember this being a feature in the original. Okay. I do kind of remember that character being there, though. Okay, so hospital is where you get all healed up. Um, the more you heal at the hospital, the more stuff that you get as rewards. But it does cost money. Item World is something that we don't really have to worry about until much later. That's kind of the location where you do a lot of your endgame grinding, and uh, not just for experience, but also for 
special upgrades to weapons and armor that can also give you things like uh, massive stacking experience bonuses and things like that that help you achieve those really, really high levels. Eat, sleep, do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon. Have you ever thought of working for me? <laughs> of course not. Okay, well, I don't think there's actually a whole lot else for me to do that's useful here at the moment. I think it's time to just run on into the tutorial. And only save in the Overlord's Castle. Once you have entered an area map, there's no turning back, so be careful. I guess that's a good point. Saving complete! I am the Dimensional Gatekeeper. I will input the coordinates for your desired destination, Prince, and you will be instantly transported there. Please select where you'd like to go. There's nowhere else to go but Battle Basics. Now then, time for a little warm up. I feel a little rusty. Ah, Prince, we've got company. How convenient. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, pretty squad! Get your butts out here! Now! So, Prince, what do you think of this pretty squad I hired? They seem extremely expendable. They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Are you sure about that? See? They're loyal! Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. Oh, you're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. K kind Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! Damn it! I take it back! I'm gonna beat them all the way to death! He's still a kid, so quick-tempered. I'm still trying to figure out if there's some way that I can get viewers to show up in the chat, but I guess not. It looks like 
Carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Hmm? You say something. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? the cursor over the base panel and press A to select the characters you wish to dispatch. The computer is doing this part automatically, by the way, just to show us what to do. If you want to cancel an order to dispatch a character, move the cursor over that character and press B. Okay, so they're using Switch style controls and not original PlayStation two style controls. Which makes a certain amount of sense for a remake. And select attack. If you want to execute the actions that you've assigned, Open the menu and select either Execute or End Turn. In this case, let's pick Execute. See? The character attacked. Assign Actions, X, Execute. Remember this, you'll be using it a lot. If you assign actions to multiple characters, they'll be executed in the order that you assign them. Be careful, you can't cancel actions once you've chosen to execute them. After you're done issuing commands, open the menu and it end your turn. It will be the enemy's turn. Ow! Why do I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next overlord for crying out loud! That was an example of something not to do. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it! Characters killed in battle, like our prince here, can be revived by paying hell to the castle's hospital. All of your, if all of your dispatch characters are defeated, the game will be over. So the basic idea is to gang up on one character and beat the living daylights out of him, huh? Exactly, prince. Remember to use your head next time. You're the one who told me to do it! Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. If several characters attack the same enemy in a row, a combo will result, and greater damage will be dealt. If you want to know more, press X and select Help from the menu. Okay, I can't remember... Okay, she can attack diagonally. And I think, if I remember right in this game, the spear attacks won't hit allies who are in the way. We'll find out. Actually, better yet, let's, um... 
cancel that action. And try that out. off the one that we know we can finish off. I guess I could have also thrown the printies at them and blown them up that way, but I don't know that it would have actually cleared the map any faster. Kill. <laughs> get Etna in on it too. Oh, I think I already did. straight demons. How annoying. I wish I could just toss them. Well, why don't you? You can? Torio, lifting and throwing. For our ignorant prince, let me explain the commands lift and throw. In situations like this, where you're too far for your attacks to reach, character by selecting lift. Hey, stop it, Etna! This was a very unique, um, component to this game when it was released as well. Uh, at least in the US, I don't think I had ever seen a game come out in the tactics genre that had this mechanic before. I think it may possibly have been in another Nipponichi game before this, I'm not completely certain. But, uh, this I think was the first one that got localized to the US. Where are you next to the enemy? See? That covered a lot of ground. Now you're able to attack! You can use lift and throw on both allies and enemies. Keep in mind that only humanoid characters can use lift and throw. Monsters can't do it. By making good use of these commands, you can extend your attack range. This is very helpful in moving around on some maps, so don't forget it. There are other uses for the commands besides covering ground, like... Holding an enemy so he she can't move, saving injured allies from danger, etc. By the way, prinnies will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Dude! You gotta be kidding! And if you throw an enemy at an enemy, there may be other fun uses waiting to be discovered. Try experimenting! 
Uh, so they didn't tell you here, but if you throw an enemy into another enemy, they combine and become a stronger enemy. That's it. I'm gonna throw you next time. Oh, and one more thing. A character will take damage if the turn ends and he slash she is still holding someone. the pretty squad. Rotomati. I'll put out a quick reminder about the stream. Reminder, I just retweeted what uh, already been posted. But quick and effective, hopefully. That's right, there is a defend option. Might end up taking all of them to kill this one, but we'll find out. These really are the weakest of the weak. Do you have any skills yet? I do! Let me execute that first.
Stage clear. Geo effects are where you start getting stage bonuses more. And I see I am up to three viewers. Thank you for joining me. Geo panels. Interesting. These are geographical features that are attuned to the elements of the universe. Crystallization of those elements results in geo symbols like the one right here. Well, that doesn't explain anything, so let me clarify a few things. Tutorial Geo Effects. Let me explain geo effects in a system which will heavily influence battle. Take a look at the colored panels on the area map. Notice that enemy boost plus 50% is displayed at the top of the screen. This means that when an enemy is on a blue panel, his or her attack and defense will be powered up by 50%. This is not good for you, so it's wise to get rid of this effect. You might be wondering, where does it come from in the first place? Why, looky here! I just found an object labeled Enemy Boost on this blue panel. This guy's the culprit. How obvious was that? This object is called a Geo Symbol, and as long as it's on a colored panel, all panels of the same color will be affected. Let's toss it somewhere. The effect Enemy Boost is no longer on any of the blue panels, but... Huh? The Geo Symbol is now affecting the red panels. That doesn't change much. Hmm, let's just destroy it then. Oh, before we do that, do you see two blue displayed in the Geo Symbol status window? Remember that. Now's the time to attack. Go ahead, Prince. Huh? The red panels are now blue. Remember the two blue in the status effects window? This is what that was referring to. Destroying a blue geo symbol will turn all the panels which are the same color as the one it was on, blue. Damage will be dealt to anyone standing on one of those panels at the time, so be sure to take this into consideration. Uh, now it's not telling us this here, but if I remember right, having it on a panel that's already that color when it's destroyed will do nothing. Ah, no damage will be dealt if you destroy a blue geo symbol on a blue panel. No panels will change color either. So, there we go. You can build up your bonus gauge by changing the color of geo panels. If you're able to use what you've learned to destroy all the geo panels, then you'll receive a panel termination bonus. All of this relates to a term I used before, geo effects. That's pretty complicated. You're right, it is. It might be a good idea to start off by destroying only the harmful geo symbols. Nullifying all the panels ex uh, is for experts who understand the concept of geo effects completely, and you're not one of them. Well, I've played the game before, so maybe I am, but we'll see. What did you say? Not all geo symbols have negative effects. When you get the chance, you should try and take advantage of the useful ones. Lastly, press the minus button to turn the geo panel display on and off. Okay, that's going to turn everything to yellow.
How much HP do these have? 14. Oh, I guess my dead printy didn't get experience in the last battle. Oh well. So let's see, this will turn all the red ones blue. And that will also destroy this, which will change everything to yellow. Which will destroy this, which will nullify and damage everyone who's standing on a colored square. Now the problem with that is, although I'll get more bonuses out of this, in terms of stuff at the end from the bonus cage, and it will do some damage to the enemies, it will also do damage to my own team. And I won't get the bonus experience and money effect that is currently on all the red squares that the enemies are standing on. But hey, it's more fun this way. And you can always replay the level later. We know each other fairly well from Twitter. Lucifer. That's weird. Apparently, in this application, I have to refresh the chat manually? Okay. Guess I better keep an eye on the other screen, seeing what's happening in the chat. Glad you could join me. Hmm, I'm starting to get the hang of things again. Okay then, are you ready to request some allies at the Dark Assembly? There you get to create characters who will become your loyal pupils. Loyal pupils? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. All right, let's go. Toriel, the Dark Assembly. Welcome to the Dark Assembly. Oh, thank you very much, Utsifer. Good to see another Yuki stop by the chat. Team Yuki! Here you can create characters as well as submit proposals. In order to submit proposals, you have to have energy known as mana. You can gain mana by defeating enemies. If you want, you can use the mana you have right now to make a new character. A cleric might be useful for healing, while a warrior or brawler might come in handy when attacking. If Prince Laharl makes the characters, they will become his pupils. Manage their growth carefully. Linear comes from some other games as well, to my understanding. Okay, four mana, four mana. Kind of dead. I should probably actually heal people up first at the hospital. Here we'll treat your wounds and heal any and all damage you may have taken. We will, of course, charge you accordingly. You can earn prizes based on the total HP and SP that have been recovered. So please get thrashed in battle. Get treated. Why is heal all? Okay.
So, definitely going to probably want to start with a cleric. Oh, that's right. The mages start out with a couple different options because they're different elements. Uh, now, there are some gender-specific classes in this game as well. And advancing certain genders of certain classes is key to unlocking them. Uh, by the way, this is the female cleric, and this is the male cleric. I can only make them at the good-for-nothing level. For something that sounds like kind of a healer name. Eh, good enough. Negative five attributes hurts, man. Oh, uh, and there's also sometimes differences in the types of weapons that are usable or that are uh, mastered well for different genders of the same class. So we can see here that the um, female warriors are better with spears and worse with axes, but the male warriors are worse with spears and better with axes. So trade-offs. Uh, meanwhile... The brawler female is slightly better with a spear, but that's the only difference in terms of that. stupid warrior. And we'll make a brawler too, why not? Kazuki seems okay. kind of like a Sakura to me. are going to be some really low stats.
one int brawler. Dumb as bricks. I don't know that int is actually useful to brawlers anyway. It doesn't affect SP. So that's its own stat. Okay, that's probably enough characters for the moment. Yes, actually, I have gone to the hospital. Thank you for trying to remind me, though. Ooh, free money. So that's actually probably an upgrade for Etna. a few weapons. Can have characters use weapons that are not best for them, but their weapon mastery will rise at a slower rate. Regardless of a character's ability with a sword, sword special techniques cannot be used unless a sword is equipped. It's best to focus on each character's specialty to start with. So these things that are called innocents on the items have special effects, and those are related to the item world that I was talking about earlier. They'll probably tell us more about that later. Okay, so wooden staff... Baseball equipment.
Oh, that's right. Each character has like three armor slots, not just one. And you can wear multiples of the same thing, unlike a lot of other games. Oh yeah, and unlocking higher customer ranks gets you access to more stuff that you can purchase from the shop. piece of equipment. It says I have only one viewer, but then when I look at the list of viewers, I have the same two people that have shown up as viewers since the start of the stream. Something seems out of sync. I have to learn more about that later. I have added Fire's Castle to the list of available areas. It's fairly new, so I don't know much about it. However, it is rumored that a very able man lives there. Hmm, what you gonna do, Prince? Should we take a peek? Definitely, I'll slaughter the master of the castle as the first step to becoming Overlord. Officially, technically, left the tutorial. Ah, yes. Okay, so, uh, one of the triggers is responsible for changing the view like this. The right stick doesn't do anything in this game.
Well, that didn't work out. One of the advantages of the Brawler class is it has a high movement rate. Let's it really get around on the map. Not as high as the uh, gun using classes, but one of the higher ones, especially as far as melee is concerned. Rush. One thing I could do is leave someone behind to trigger that last duo panel right before I kill the last enemy. So, Etna didn't get to attack, which means I can also have her lift up my healer and throw them closer to Laharl to help cure him next turn. The healers move very slow.
Miss Gage chain. Again, massive overkill. Oh, there's one more enemy lurking back there that I didn't notice. It is unfortunately very difficult to level up healers. Stage complete. Should probably go heal. This is a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! Oh, that's our prince! You're <laughs> so ruthless! There, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> A demon among demons! <clears throat> Quit complimenting me so much! It's embarrassing! Now listen up! I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle! Aye, aye, dude! I need to rearrange this. This list is not in a good order for me.
actually going to use Blade Rush just because he does more damage. And I'm going to have her heal, just for the experience and skill level up on her skill. kind of get set up on these panels for now. Now it turns out that it's a pretty effective strategy to just make one super OP melee unit and steamroll everybody, usually Laharl since he kind of has to stay alive. I think I can actually, yeah, I can move her back and then move her forward again. You really abuse these systems if you know how to do it right.
unfortunately, attacking multiple times also leaves you vulnerable to multiple counters. I poisoned him. So I think that's what that icon is. Sonic? Sonic? Doesn't even look like a Sonic. Okay, I think there's only one way to make this work, but it will be pretty funny. Oh. She can't throw at that angle, though. Hmm. Okay, I have to move the Prinny first. Why not? I'll have him attack. I see a new viewer has stopped in. Thank you for joining me. Quick trip to the hospital. Important to remember to do it after basically every battle. I should also check the Dark Assembly to see if I have enough mana to make some slightly more decent characters, and it looks like I do. I definitely want to make a mage of some kind at some point here.
Instead of good for nothing, she will be incompetent. Major attack skills off int. If I remember correctly. Save. It has been a while since I did that. And because this is a remake of an older game, it does not support auto saves. The Corridor of Love. I see. Under the water. That's the only place, though. card. Just into ice. Just into ice. Wow, her range is so bad. <laughs> I think I forgot to get her a staff. That's probably part of the reason. Oops. She's naked. And staffless.
Wait, they have a special now? Oh, they do. They got their triple strike. And Etna has Impaler. Squad, move out. Oh, the fringe. Oh, no. Well, she did learn the two person heal. And I can rotate that. Hit them with it that way. These enemies just won't die. I guess they really assumed I would have upgraded my weapons by now. Probably get my healer out of harm's way.
ゃんじゃんじゃん。Using the system. Just not enough to finish it off. Oh, and the poison killed it, so I didn't get the experience. doing barely anything. Hey, Vexenor. Welcome. To Thank you for joining me. Glad you could make it to the stream. It's a late night. Sorry to hear that you had to uh, work so late. Is your schedule always like that? Out of MP, can't heal herself anymore. Level up. I want to actually issue a defend command to them.
Oh, closing. Well, hope they adjusted your hours to compensate, or at least are giving you overtime. Because I know how lame it is to work late and get nothing extra out of it. It's not cool. Bad this object is kind of in the way and we can't see the action. That's something they kind of solved in later iterations with uh, transparent background pieces that you know, interact with the camera and things like that. And just the camera generally being rotatable. At least you're getting peed extra. Hopefully it's worth it. But either way, glad you could make it after the end of a long shift. Nice of you to show up. A tried worm. Just what I always wanted. Okay, if I remember right, the Muscle Brawn gives more HP. And the orbs are... Yeah, for magic users to boost them up. both weapons and armor. I have some hand-me-downs.
Protector's actually better than the amulet, so... Here we go. Hand me downs are go. I do not have enough money to heal my team. That is regrettable. Let's see, do I have the ability to create anybody else who's useful right now? Really. It wouldn't be bad to have another warrior so I can have someone who uses an axe, but it's not urgent. should probably actually go back to a previous stage somewhere. And... The gate had extra EXP. Just kind of level up my guys a little bit. As my other kind of higher level character. I'll have her do the literal heavy lifting. do that. I don't really care too much about leveling up the prinnies because they're pretty expendable. But it doesn't hurt to have them out on the battlefield. I forgot you could equip characters mid-battle, assuming you actually have stuff to equip them with. Okay, her range is still terrible even with a staff on. Probably because her staff skill isn't leveled up yet. That's unfortunate. It knocked them out of the bonus EXP area before they died. Uh-oh. Casualty. She didn't quite make it.
She learned Blade Rush, but she doesn't have enough uh, SP to use it. That's pretty bad. She killed them. Oh, minus 15% resistance to ice. Try her special first. If she can kill it. <laughs> nope, not even close. Oh no! Murdered my mage in one hit. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Making more powerful enemies. Oops.
yeah, that's one of the mechanics in Disgaea. You can pick up characters and enemies, um, and throw them around. And, uh, there's certain special things that can happen, too. If you pick up an enemy and you throw them into another enemy, they combine into a stronger enemy. Oh no, I still don't have enough money to heal my team. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to an even earlier level just to farm cash. <laughs> I do a better move. Really? Where did he get Blazing Knuckle? I don't even have any fist weapons equipped on him. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's right, my mage is still dead. Uh, incidentally, if you pick up the prinnies, which are the little blue penguin guys, and you throw them, they explode. It kills them instantly, but it does a bunch of damage to whatever's in the area of effect. They're basically living grenades. Hopefully that's enough money to actually heal my team up now. I'll feel pretty silly if I have to farm the tutorial multiple times just to basically pay for the inn. <laughs> All 
Alright, all healed up and ready to try the next stage. Hopefully. Uh, you know what? Let me say first. It'll be really embarrassing if I wipe, and that last stage was actually pretty difficult. This is a game franchise that expects you to do a fairly significant amount of grinding. And I'm trying to get by without doing that as much as possible. house and asking him who's there but I give you credit for your bravery ha! voila forgive more I must leave you in awe my name is Vyers I am the lord of this castle Vyers the demon that's been knocking off competition for the throne? We oui, that is correct, mademoiselle. Remember that's knocking off, not knocking up. I am an aristocrat with both strength and beauty. They call one the dark adonis. Uh yeah, you'll find that's kind of a reoccurring character design theme. Young man, I assume that you are the son of the late King Tretescu, are you not? Yeah. He is technically a demon, though, so maybe he doesn't actually have a need for digestive organs? I don't know. That's right. I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. It is pretty concave, though. The heir to the throne? That is history, dear boy. Your existence has long been forgotten. Are you blind to the horde of demons lining up to fight for the throne? So, I'm the heir. That's all that matters. If they've forgotten, then I'll just have to make them remember. I see. So you saw my potential and decided to strike first against more. Such wonderful intuition. Well played, son of Krzyzewskoy. I've never even heard of you. It's only a coincidence that we're here. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. <gasps> How dare you? I am the Dark Adonis. My... Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Mid Boss. Mid Mid Mid. Looks like you hurt his pride, Prince. Unforgivable! That is unforgivable! It's a fair number of enemies. And, oh, there are some geo panels. Whoa! Are some serious geo panels. Okay. Um. I have a plan. It needs to be someone at least decent at throwing. If she can do it. No, it's not going to be far enough. Okay. Uh, I can fix this. Apparently not with her. Nope. Not with her either. Oh yeah, and you can totally lift stacks of units too. Here I come. Ah! Whoa. 
Oh, it didn't kill them? That's worrying. Actually might not even want to bring her out yet. Let's put some prinnies out there that can just soak some attacks instead. Yeah, fortunately, I don't think that will be a problem for him. I kind of expected him to just hang out there and solo them. Although it is a bit of a problem for me if he does die. And to be fair, I did not check the enemy's levels. What do they look like? Tristram! Like the town from Diablo. And... Alaleka. Both level 3. I don't think it'll be an issue. He's level 5, and he's pretty decently geared as far as my team goes. But I am going to wait to bring out my very squishy mage or cleric. Actually, here's a thing I could have done. See how this works out. They learned a special. Or that one did. <laughs> okay, let's try doing that differently then. Oh, that has more range on it than I expected. Oh no, she can't move quite far enough. Okay, let's see how this plays out. That's all I can do. Oh, there goes my mage. And my healer! Uh-oh!
him out of the way a little bit. Okay, got her a much needed level. Oh no! Her only finally leveled up too. Was anticlimactic. It just won't die. Here we go. The pretty. This one over here. Finish him off. There. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Right, that times six power. Wait, is Laharo my last non pretty unit? That's not good. I guess I really should have finished off those geo panels earlier after all.
I might be uh, a little bit screwed. <laughs> Oh, minus 50% wind resistance. That might help me out. I've ever actually done this bad in a map before in this game. <laughs> have to use a healing item. And then hopefully maybe a better healing item. <laughs> Restores like oh 40. Okay, I thought it was 25 for some reason. Ha! Ha! Uh, funny thing about these though, after you use them, they turn into ABC gum. Doesn't restore as much HP, but you can use it again. Last time I can do that. But of course. Six. Paralyzed. HP. <laughs> Just want to look around this map real quick, because sometimes there's like treasure chests and stuff that you can destroy too, but I don't think I'd be able to do it, even if I found one. out a victory against the mid-boss. <laughs> I have underestimated your 
skill. I took you for but a child. But that was an error in judgment. I am too kind-hearted. Liar, you were serious just now. How pathetic. Nothing's worse than a sore loser. <sighs> what repulsive little brats you are. I shall come to return the favor, so do not forget moi. All right, let's collect the spoils and head home. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Sure you are, Etna. Sure you are. Which means, dude, we're gonna have to carry all this? We're Master Etna's vassals, not the Prince's. Etna's vassals are my vassals. And my vassals do what I say. Now get to work. Dude! Now, now, it's only until next bedroom, right? I guess you're right, dude. I'll get to work. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. Dun, dun, dun! I see, but still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? If he fully recovers, this will become a difficult task. Don't worry. If you leave it to me, the throne will be yours. A traitor in our midst. Are you sure you can deliver on that promise? Yes. Remember, in exchange. I know. When I reign supreme as the Overlord, I shall return it to you. Finally, the time has come for Prince Laharl to pay for all his evil deeds. Hey! Now, Etna will fulfill the late prince's wish and succeed him to the throne. I'm not dead. So long, Prince. Your humble vassal, Etna, will put your money and power to good use. <laughs> You're one scary girl. Next on Hyperdimensional Demon Gal Etna, Episode 2, The Birth of Queen Etna. A new era of the netherworld begins. You're delusional. Sure, I barely have one living character. Why not? We'll save. <laughs> Celestia, a world where beings known as angels live. The netherworld, Celestia, and the human world. Legend has it that these worlds are connected. This is one of such nexuses between the netherworld and Celestia. However, it is sealed by a gate constructed by the angels of ancient times. Did you send for me, Master Lamington? Yes, I did. Here, Flon, have a look. The flowers are in full bloom. to be like these flowers. You might already be, Flan. You might already be. Flan, listen carefully to what I have to say. Yes? As Sarah, I have orders for you, Angel Trainee Flan. Go to the Netherworld and assassinate the Overlord King Krajewskoy. An angel assassin? 
Huh? That doesn't seem very angelic. Episode 2, Enter Flan. La la la. Well, I'm here. At the Overlord's Castle. I still wonder why the Seraph picked me, though. Master Volcanus would have been a much better choice. Not only that, but... An assassination! What is the Seraph thinking? Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? Why all the ruckus, Volcanus? You scared the birds away. Who cares about the birds? I have an important question. Is it true that you sent Flan to assassinate King Krachevskoy? Yes, it is true. What, 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 what did you do that for? King Krachevskoy is the ruler of that abominable, dirty, rotten netherworld. If you wanted him assassinated, it would have made more sense to send me. One just said the same thing. Instead, you pick that angel trainee. You think too highly of her. I am very aggravated by this. That is exactly why you are not fit for this task. Besides, this is something that only Flaw can accomplish. Whoosh! Whoosh! Do you think that hard about it, even though you were just saying din 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 and pretending to be a ninja? Maybe I have potential. Nin nin. But still, is it all right for me to be doing this? The angels all say that demons are evil, but are they really? Hmm. It doesn't seem fair to judge somebody based on rumors alone. The series does actually, underneath the surface, have a surprisingly complex take on the nature of good and evil. Even if it's the Seraph's orders, I don't feel right assassinating somebody I don't know. Does that mean it's alright to assassinate somebody I do know? Hmm, that seems wrong too. Can't kill strangers. Hmm, can't kill acquaintances either. Which means... Oh... Perhaps murder is just kind of generally wrong? He's not that young. He's been asleep for the last 10 years. Hmm? Nice to meet you. I'm an assassin. Well played, Flan. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that. You're pretty dense, aren't you? Somebody you just met dense. I know, right? Clearly every demon has to start somewhere. They aren't just born 10,000 years old. I mean, however they're created, even if they replicate from each other or something, they don't start 10,000 years old. I think an assassin that tries to kill someone in his sleep is a lot ruder. I should probably actually read out the chat that I'm responding to. I do have the little chat window in my stream, but for people watching the VOD and stuff, uh, 
It may not be very legible. You're right. I apologize. Is she really an assassin? It looks like I failed this time, so I guess I'll be leaving now. I'll be back again. Please take care. I shall return to assassinate you later. Hey, wait! Someone, get in here now! Why are you yelling at this time of night? Oh, did you have a night meal? No, you fool! An assassin has infiltrated the castle! that were supposed to be on patrol. Ah, oh, they've partied themselves to sleep. Those idiots! I'm gonna smack them and wake them up now. We've got an assassin to track down. Ah, okay. So because that was the last fight of the chapter, they healed up my team for free. Which is pretty handy, because they were in a pretty sorry state after the end of that last battle. Incidentally, uh, all these random demons sitting around in my castle are at least in the low level hun uh, hundreds of levels, so uh, I'm starting off really weak by comparison. Oh, I guess Gash isn't. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Yeah, it's the same excuse you used last time, Etna. A certain demon stole my memories. There's something he wants me to do in exchange. I'll do just about anything to get my memories back. But would the king forgive me? That's my only fear. for joining me. I think uh, clearing chapter one's a pretty good place to end. I've been going for you know, almost three hours now, so I think I could use a break and a chance to kind of rest up and maybe get a snack and stuff. Um, but appreciate you coming, and thank you for hanging out and chatting with me, Vexenor. Uh, hope to see you everybody again next time, and uh, thank you everybody who's joining me to see the VOD in post as well. Bye-bye!